Now that the warm weather is upon us, it is a perfect time for the blast from the past to be about making your own screens for your van or RV. I show you how to make the front door screens and also if you're lucky enough to have a van that the back opens up screens for the back because that gives you a tremendous amount of breeze through your van. Here's the design for my screen and this has gone through many design changes but this is the one that I've settled with and I like it the best. Still the material screening I bought muslin and I sewed it on to my screening that I cut out to the size of my door. Put a magnet here at the top. This comes down by where the mirror is and there's a magnet here at the bottom. Big one, small one, small one, big one. But what I particularly like about this is because of having the muslin on the side, I don't need magnets. The material, when it closes the door, keeps any bugs from being able to fly in. And that was what I was after. Now let me show you this part of it. Made this all the way around here. It's just a flap. And then I ran thin elastic through there. All I needed was to hold it onto the door. And that elastic is this thin stuff right here. So I put that in around the door and got it so it would fit. And then I took this elastic, which keeps it hugged up against the door here so it doesn't come loose. And this method has worked excellent. And when I sew bruises, I will show you the method of sewing it. And hopefully you will have someone that can help you if you're not, if you don't have a sewing machine or you cannot sew. But if you can't sew, there's nothing wrong with putting up this screening and putting magnets on it. It works great. Gets the job done and that's what it's all about. Last night, because of having these up, now we didn't get any breeze from these, but it helped get rid of the heat in the van. And that was what we were after. We even pulled out the trusty screen. Now, you can make this several ways. You can get two kinds of screening at Lowe's or Best Buy. One being metal, which you do not want, and one being material which is what you want. Now, if you don't have a sewing machine available to you, just cut it out larger than the window all the way around and this use your magnets and put it on and you'll have a screen. This particular one I cut and folded down so I have a channel here. And what I did is I bought these heavy duty magnets and the little round magnets. And I put three heavy duties at the top and two heavy duty, there are three other heavy duties on the bottom to hold the screen in place. I made a channel, I sewed the channel wider than I needed for the, the magnet. And then when I put my magnets in, I started in the middle and I sewed this one in. So this one's not going to go to either side. Then I sewed a smaller one, this one right here. Then I sewed another big one. 
This one I had to do a little different. I had to start here, put this one in, work my way up. But it works well. And the reason this works so well is the fact that if it starts to rain during the middle of the night, we can just put our windows up and that takes care of it. And yes, you can buy, I think they're bug beaters or something like that. You can buy those. I personally, I don't want to spend the money. I can do it a lot cheaper. And so I did. Now, if you do the one with just the magnets putting the screen up, and, and there's no problem with that, but if it's raining and you're, you, you're getting ready to go and you sit in a front seat, you can't pull the screen in through the window because you'll lose all your magnets. So by doing it with these channels and sewing your magnets in, you can pull it right off and you won't have any problems. Now I did my side a little different than Bruce's. Found out later that Bruce says he didn't want me to go through all the trouble I went through, but what he didn't realize is that I was also doing a design and when you're doing that type of thing, it takes you longer. Because you gotta kinda sew and go out and try it again. And sew and go try it again. So it takes you a lot longer. I will be much better when I do his. And I'm thinking if he did say he liked my method better than this, but this works. And so I may do one for him, you know, just depends how energetic and crafty I feel like. Sewing is my closest thing to being able to cuss freely. I hate sewing, hate it, hate it, hate it. And so I try not to do too much sewing, but I will if I have to. And I would do this for him as he finally admitted he liked mine the best. This is something I made about two years ago and we haven't had to use it until last night. This is screening from a screen tent. And the tent was just horrendous to put up. And we just never put it up, never used it. So I cut it all apart for the screening. But this is supposed to be no seam proof. We're not in no seam country, so I don't know. Now what we used was magnets, big ones, all along the bottom. I had used a bungee cord, and that works out really well. And you don't have to use all these magnets on the bottom. But I can't find the bungee cord now. So we just use magnets. I have them handy. Handy dandy magnets. And then, and then over here, there's more magnets. The ones on the top, they're pretty good. But these, these are from your computer. And there's a place that we go with our cans. And he saves those for me. Well, he has them. I ask him for them. He gives them to me. But they are super duper magnets. And I think they would hold anything on in a hurricane even. So I'm going to ask for more. And see if he can give them to me. But as you can see, well, this part I did not cut around a seam. But I'm going to seam that so it doesn't come apart. But it works wonderful, I can tell you, I can attest to it. Last night we had a breeze all night long coming through the back of the van. And without that, we would have been dying.
please take a second to comment, subscribe, ring the bell to get notices of new videos, and please give a thumbs up.